Hi, Scorpio. This is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading. This is for the week of November 2nd, 2020. Thank you guys for stopping by. As always, if you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, subscribe, retweet. I greatly appreciate it. If you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com or find a link to those readings in the description box located below these videos. Scorpio. Okay. Good energy surrounding you guys. I do have two warnings for you. Coming up first with, um, there's a self-esteem problem that you've got to work on bringing your self-esteem up and that there's a caution for you to slow down. Now that could be around the house, could be in a vehicle, but overall generally it's telling you to slow down. Now what I have for Scorpio you need to be at a standstill. You're under a new emotional path, okay? You need to relax. You need to know, tap into that intu intuition and know that you are going to get what you want. You need to know the energy is about to shift and major changes are drawing near. Rest, let go of fear and worries, and just be still, okay? Do some meditation, take care of yourself. There is a small wish granted, and for some of you, there's a pleasant outing coming up. Now, Scorpio, I want to remind you that uh, Retro ends on November 3rd. So, I have a couple days to shake that energy uh, loose from Retro. So, let's take a look. We're looking at Scorpio. This is your week of November 2nd, 2020. Scorpio, we start with the Five of Cups. Yes, Five of Cups. From there, we have the Three of Swords. And then we have the World. Okay, Five of Cups, there is a challenge, and the challenge is with your health. Take care of this week, okay? Uh, be mindful of your health. Things of that nature. But this is a warning card for you. Next to that, you have another warning card. This is three as a crowd. Third person, unwanted advice and or opinions. Also looks like that this is affecting children. For some of you, this is just in family matters in general. And for others, this is actually in matters of the heart. Third person. Then we have the major kind of the world. Love the energy of the world. The world shows. The world is your oyster. Things are going your way. You guys have the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands representing a Leo type energy. Um, she sits on that throne. She's happy. She's carefree. She's taking care of herself. And she's ready to move forward. Good strong fire energy there. With that is the Two of Swords. Two of Swords shows, Scorpio, you've got decisions to make. These decisions you've been putting off for too long. And you need to make those decisions now. And with that, we have the King of Wands. King of Wands coming in as an Aries energy. Okay? Taking authority. Putting your foot down. Being true to yourself. Doing things a little differently. Maybe for Scorpio, you've got the Four of Wands. Happy home, celebration. For my Scorpios that are in a coupled situation, this is relationships going to the next level. This is discussions of living together, uh, commitments, engagements, wedding vows. For my single Scorpios, this is something new coming into play. Remember at the beginning of the video, I said you do get what you want. So remember that as you move forward through the week. Then we have the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands shows still some challenges ahead. I think particularly in the home front. Just want to throw that out there. And then we end with that other Two of Wands. Also indicating you guys have got decisions to make. So some of these decisions are that you've been putting off for too long and you're going to have to be forced to make them kind of on the spot. This just says you got decisions in general that need to be made. Now, um, Scorpio, um, you're kind of keeping to yourself. You're kind of withdrawing. But like I said, overall, it is a week of change. Feeling that energy shift. Let's have another deck here. See if we can go a little bit further here. Notice, ironically, 
you did not have the first major arcana in this spread. Oh, no, I'm sorry, you did. You had one. The world, being the world is your oyster. So, let's move forward with Scorpio. What you need to know, this is for your week of November 2nd, 2020. Scorpio, five of wands. Again, showing challenges. That's your third five in this reading. And fives in general indicate challenges. Okay? And it just says you got obstacles to overcome. You have the three of cups going with that three of swords showing more than one person. This is an unexpected uh, celebration. Okay? So many people surrounding you. And we have that death card energy. Endings, closures, rebirth, new beginnings. One door opening, one door closing, all going down at once, creating just that. It's going to be emotional. And we end with the two cups. This is just a happy union. Now that is to my couples as well as to my singles. Scorpio, I go live every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. All are free to, and to join me. I will see you guys then. Happy Halloween. Have a great week. Bye.